What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Brianna today, and welcome back to another video, guys. So, today is Vlogmas Day 10. Oh my god, y'all! 15 more days, <laughs> 15 more days till Christmas, and I am so in the spirit. I am so ready. Today's my little brother's birthday. Happy birthday, Junior! I love you so much. And also, as you were about to try to see by the thumbnail, this is a story time video. So, I posted on my Instagram, what type of video should I do? So somebody said a story time. So I went back on my Instagram and asked what type of story time should I do? So Okay, guys. So I got a guest with me, my nephew. <laughs> he just woke up from his nap. But um, I chose to do the story time about how I found out I was pregnant, when I found out I was pregnant, and my labor and delivery story. So... This is basically a story time about my pregnancy. So, make sure you like this video. Comment down below. Slap that subscribe button. And what else you supposed to do? Hit that post notification button so every time you know every time your girl posts. So, um... I was 17 years old and um, I remember getting ready for school one morning and my boyfriend, he was just like, um, as I, could re I can't really remember, but I think he was just like, take a pregnancy test and it came back negative. So I'm like, okay, I'm not pregnant, but he just kept pushing forward, like take a pregnancy test because I guess like. I had missed my period, but you know, like, my cycles was not normal. Like, they was abnormal, so I really didn't think nothing about it. And I'm not saying, like, it's okay to be pregnant at a young age and stuff like that, because it's not. But, um, so I had, I was living with my grandma at the time, and I was just like, okay. I told my cousin, I was just like, um, girl, can you go buy me a pregnancy test? So, the one that she had bought for me it came out negative again but y'all i kid y'all not it was just like a week later hey man hey hi titi hi here what's your passion a week later i had took another pregnancy test y'all and one was positive and one was negative i was just like it was just so many emotions running through my head. I was just like, I don't know how I'm going to tell my mom. I don't know how I'm going to tell my dad. I did not want to be a disappointment to my dad. Like, that was the worst feeling ever. Like, I was excited to, okay, like, okay, I'm about to be a mama. But at the same time, with all these negative pregnancy tests and then this one positive, it was time to set an appointment. So, I had set an appointment. Um... At our local health department, and they had asked when the last time my cycle had came on, and all that. So, you see the little boy that just crawled to the bed. This, the, this is the story I'm taking y'all about. Mommy. So, um. Kenny. A wolf or a pregnancy? You can play with him. Mama, don't, don't let him fall. But I'm not gonna let him fall. I got him. Can I, can I, I got him. Let, let me see. Hmm. He, he can play hard with it. So they asked me when the uh, first day of my last cycle. I told him all the information, but I took a, you know, they give you a pregnancy test and it came back positive. So that's when they told me to um set an appointment for uh, in another city, you know, because that's where the like OBGYNs was. And I, you know, so. My appointment finally came, oh, and I. <laughs> hey, Tay, what's wrong? You ready to go, mommy? You go. You ready to go, mommy? Yeah, he looking at my light. So, um, when I finally had went to my appointment in the like in the city that's thirty minutes away from me, I was like three months pregnant. I want to say three or four months. But at the end of the day, like, I was real small. 
like i'm gonna insert a picture like right here when i was pregnant but you couldn't even tell and i was skinny so um oh my tt baby so that was like the moment i had found out it was like during the summertime and i was not like loving it at all like i was so hot um my family started to find out my mom had asked me like three times and i was still telling her no it was just like so much and i was just like man let me just go on this because i was wearing like my boyfriend's shirts and stuff at the time and then it was like big shirts and then she was just like tell me why you keep because that was not how i dressed so she was just like tell me why you keep dressing like that and i was just like i'm pregnant and she supported me from the moment that she really just knew like I don't know, y'all. Like, she really, really supported me, even when I felt like I had, you know, disappointed her and stuff. But it had came a time where I had told my dad, and it was just like he was mad at me, but then he wasn't mad at me. But I just really, really cried so hard because nobody don't understand. Like, I love my mama and I love both. I love both of my parents. But, like, the scary one <laughs> is my dad. Like, every girl be scared to, like, tell their dad something. But now I'm not, though. But I'm just saying, like, news like that at 17, you know, sometimes your parents think that they failed you and stuff like that. But that wasn't the case. The moment, um, stop, dude. The moment they both had really found out, like, it, they were sad, but they supported me. Like, I really, I really had got, like, a lot of support because from the, like, the moment Quincy was born, like, people really helped out and stuff like that, but my son been stuck to my side, he be stuck to my side 25-8, and now that he in school, but y'all, um, yeah, so... Uh, my labor delivery store. So November, okay. So I was due November the eighth, twenty seventeen. But I remember it clear like yesterday. It was Halloween, and I think that was the time where Medea Boo, Medea Boo two came out, and we had went to the movies to see the movie. But if you know, like at school, you already walking a lot, so I didn't have a problem with it. But um. After the movies, I end up catching a real, like, the day before the movies, well, a couple days before the movies, I end up catching a real, 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 real bad migraine that laid on for days. And, y'all, like, and when I had went to the emergency room, they had told me that my blood pressure had been shot up. But I was just like, I don't even know, you know, I didn't really know anything. Um, So... Couple days after, you know, when they had gave me something, it finally went down. That was Halloween. We went to the movies. We had went to the movies to see the movie, and the next day, November the first. Oh, oh, look at what! Hi. So, um, November the first had came, and I kid you not, that night. Can't have none of that. Remember, go get me can and cup. It's in the living room on the chair. What chair? The red chair that I was sitting in. You see it? It got a little bit. Yeah, put your song in there. Yeah. You ain't got to pull a lot. All right, that's enough. Thank you. Hmm. Sit right here, do it. So, um, okay, November 1st, that's where I was. That night, um, yeah, so, you know how, um, when you have, like, a lot of pressure built up on your pelvis, and stuff like that. I thought I originally 
had used the bathroom myself. So I was just like, okay, let me take a shower, change out these pants, and lay down. But in my mind, I take a nap. In my mind, I was not thinking nothing of it. I was prepared for his birth. I had his clothes packed, but I did not have my clothes packed. So time came, November the 2nd, 8 o'clock in the morning, and I was getting up to um get like kiss my sister and get on the bus or whatever and i was just like I, like i'm why am i still using the bathroom on myself so kid you not took a shower the night before changed into some comfortable pants so the moment i'm getting up big and pregnant walk into the bathroom i'm like okay so the moment you guys that i sit on the toilet and i'm like okay why is my pee not stopping? Because you know when you use the bathroom, like drip, 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 drip. And I'm like, it won't stop. Yeah, and I kid you not because remember now, he was supposed to be born November the 8th. So that was like the week after. So I'm like, okay. I still like, my mom was just like. My mom was not thinking about trying to get birth yet. I was so nervous. I was so scared. But I had one in the room and I told my dad and um, my godmama, I was like, look, something's going on. And they told me to call my boyfriend because, yeah, my water was breaking. Like, not in no right mind was I thinking like, okay, my son could have been born. He probably most likely would have been born November the 2nd, but at an early time. But November the first, when I thought that I was using bathroom on myself, the I night before, that lay down. The night that I thought I was using the bathroom on myself, y'all, my water was breaking. That's so why at that time we did not have a vehicle like our own vehicle. I did not have my own car. And. It was just like so much going on at one time. The kids was going to school. My dad and them was just like, everybody was just starting to panic. And the moment my mind went like, okay, my water breaking. I started catching the most worst contractions ever. So I was waiting on my boyfriend to get his dad car. And I was just like, oh my God, this is not going to work. So I, uh, my dad called the ambulance. And next thing you know, I was in, I was at the hospital well, I knew it, guys. The ambulance had beat my boyfriend to the house. He had to go get my mom, my stepdad. He had to, um, and then my dad, um, everybody was just riding with him or whatever. Excuse me. Um, I, like I said, I had beat. Okay. When the ambulance came, I was already headed to the hospital, y'all. And then I kid you not, it's like. Going on nine or something in the morning by the time I make it. So I did I haven't ate nothing. You can't eat nothing. Well, I don't know how they do it now, but at that moment I couldn't eat nothing but like ice chips. Um I was starving. I'm gonna kid you not, like my labor um and delivery store is just hectic. I I was starving. The um my contractions was so freaking bad, like I had signed up to get Epidur and stuff like that, but to my mom, mm -mm. I was not getting no needle in my back, y'all. And by, by the time I snapped, I was just like, no, give me the medicine in my drip, guys. So I remember going to the hospital. It was my dad, my stepdad, my friend, my boyfriend, my sister, um, my mom, my stepdad. I don't know if I said them already, but... It was just like, I did have the, it was amazing support. My auntie even came, um, my boyfriend, cousin even came, but I think people started coming after I gave birth. But I remember being in the hospital bed after being hooked up to the IVs and all that, and I was crying. And I'm gonna try to insert a clip of me having contractions in this video. Oh, oh. It hurts so bad right here. I know, I know. Come on, baby. Um, and do not, do not judge me, guys. So I remember 
every time I uh contracted, it would hurt so bad, y'all. I could hear other women screaming, giving birth, and I would be crying, scared. My heart would be literally out of my chest. But you know what I wanted? That baby out of me. At that moment, I wanted that baby out of me. I just kept crying and screaming. So when they finally, finally gave me the medicine and my drip, I drifted off to sleep. <laughs> so, yeah, I was so mad because, like, when I woke up, I wasn't even dilated for her. I literally probably was at six. Okay, you got to get to 10. We need to hurry up. Somebody. So by the time, you know, I was at six and I woke up and I was getting comfortable and all that. And I shot up to eight. Like, I was like, yeah, okay. It's almost time to push. It's almost time to push. But y'all, when that man came in there and checked to see how far I was dilated, I was still at eight. And next thing you know, I remember the doctors, like, nobody was in the room with me. I think my boyfriend was. But everybody's nerves was so bad because I kid you not, it's like, not. It probably was not something at night. So, it's been going on 12 hours. I kid you not. It's been going on 12 hours. Me contracting. Me, uh-oh. Me, um, you know, trying to just get through this and all that. And the doctors was telling me, like, um you're not you're not dilating anymore we're going to have to give you an emergency c-section and i remember literally telling them like can y'all please can y'all please just wait till my mom get back in the room and we're gonna you know see how we go from there they told my mama why she was outside the room so she came in she was crying like it's gonna be okay baby it's gonna be okay i remember them wheeling me out of the room um uh, taking me into the room where they was getting ready to perform it but i got put to sleep i got put to sleep i remember them you know laying my arms and stuff out for me to you know be still as the process went and i remember them telling me to count down from 10 while they put the mask on my face and at that moment i was counting down i caught the worst contraction i ever felt and i was asleep y'all i went to sleep by the time I woke up, you know, I was wearing off of the arm um, anesthesia and stuff. First thing, what's the th what y'all think the first thing I said? Because, like, the first thing I asked was, I touched my stomach. I was like, I'm still pregnant? Or is my baby still in there or something? Y'all, my baby was not in my stomach no more. I gave birth to a 7 pounds, 13 and a half ounce. Baby boy, y'all, I was crying, and it was just like the most precious thing ever. But it was just like crazy to me too because when having a C-section, it's just like trying to learn how to walk all over again. Not mostly with your legs, but you got to think about that is uh, domino surgery. So it was just like very very difficult for me. Ah, PT. It was just like very, very difficult for me. And when I saw my son for the first time, I literally cried. <laughs> I cried because I cried for a lot of reasons because like I was excited. I was nervous. I really couldn't hold him like I wanted to because y'all, once um I gave birth, I ended up getting sick. I had cough, scrub throat and coughing and all that. That pain had was unbearable. And I couldn't leave the hospital until, like, I used the bathroom or something. But And they made sure, like, I wasn't sick no more and all that. But, um, yeah. So, my pregnancy journey was wonderful, hot. Um, it was, I wasn't stressed out or anything. My pregnancy went by smooth. But when it was time for me to have that baby, whew, y'all, I'll do it all over again just to get the same results i got i do it a hundred times just to feel that love like that love of having a child was amazing and now he's five and i'm 23 and we we might have to you know we still in this journey we still right um right now story it's amazing but like i said i'll do it a hundred times <laughs> probably one more time well, yeah, guys, that's basically the story of how I found out I was pregnant, 
How old was I? Um, how did my parents feel about it? Somebody, they pamper changed. How did my parents feel about it and um, my labor and delivery stories? So I really hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Make sure you like this video, comment down below, share this video. And what else you're supposed to do? Slap that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell so you know every time your girl posts. Peace.